Hello guys, random background noise here. Freaking. Jeez, these guys are loud. Anyways guys, welcome back to yet another amazing video. And as you can see here, I still have not uh, upgraded my amazing software. So yes, it is still just a tablet recording a freaking PlayStation Vita. So, you know. There you go, there you go, that's, I still haven't even enhanced whatsoever. It, and, well, you know, ain't no freaking friend of Captain Savage gonna tell me how to live my life. Anyways, guys, today I ended up, I was actually suggested this channel by someone, and the channel name is called Odd Reality, and oh boy, after watching a few videos and noticing that they're actually alive right now, I thought I'd take a look at one of their videos entitled Flat Earth in five minutes. And look at that dislike ratio. Let's just take a look. Let's just take a look. We're taking a look at, it. like, oh boy. Water, when unmanipulated, is to find its level. Oh, come on. No! <laughs> Learning is fun. Oh dear god. <laughs> and has a freaking royalty free music in the background. Water, when unmanipulated, is to find its level. So whether you look at a cup of water, a bathtub, a swimming pool, a lake, or the ocean, it's flat. Yeah, whether you look at a small, singular cup of water, a, s a small, singular bathtub, or small pool, or looking out at the sea, it's all flat. <clears throat> you do realize that the Earth is massive. I mean, a small cup of water is not going to show the curve of the Earth, like, right there. <laughs> Neither is the bathtub or a freaking pool, because that's those are not even big enough. Even what you're seeing out in the freaking ocean is not big enough to even see a huge, like, drastic curve. It's a huge, it's like a small, like, just, the freaking Earth is massive, is what I'm trying to say. Of course it looks flat when you look out into it. Retard. Of course natural motion is not considered and doesn't equal a curve. Say it again. A lake or the ocean, it's flat. Of course natural motion is not considered and doesn't equal a curve. Natural motion... Wait, what? I didn't understand a single thing that he just said. We have zero authentic pictures of the Earth and they're all composites. And NASA even admits that they Photoshop Earth images. It is Photoshop, but it's, it's, it has to be. On numerous occasions, NASA admits that we can't go beyond low Earth orbit, which is between 99 miles and 1,200 miles away. The interesting thing is that the moon is said to be 238,000 miles away, which is the difference of 236,800 miles. Where's he getting this information from? The freaking pre-moon landing records? Jeez. This person's freaking dated as heck. No matter if you're on the ground, on top of a building, a mountain, a hot air balloon, an airplane, or looking at high altitude amateur balloon footage, the horizon never fails to rise right to your eye. That's because the Earth is bloody massive! Do you not realize this? If you actually take a look pictures like the freaking moon or something like that the freaking earth is in the sky and it's a huge circle whether you are looking at Toronto's skyline from Niagara on the lake are you seriously gonna start off every single sentence with whether you're looking at the freaking uh, pop tarts wrapper or an AK-47 you'll notice that the earth is flat 31 miles away Chicago's skyline from Union Pier 43 miles away, or even Oahu from Kauai, which is up to 108 miles away from center to center, or 73 miles away from the closest point. You will not see any curvature where it's supposed to be. According to the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the curvature of the Earth is 8 inches per mile squared, 8 inches per mile squared. 8 Singular inches, do you realize how small 
8 inches is. Ugh, I refuse to believe that this guy actually exists. Oahu should not be visible whatsoever. Yeah, it's not like Oahu is like a big freaking tall island with a huge mountain on it. Sure, the mountain is freaking 8 inches tall. But you can see the whole thing. In 1887, Albert Michelson and Edward Morley conducted what's known as the Michelson Morley experiment. This experiment was attempting to prove the speculated motion of the Earth around the sun. And when it failed, Albert Einstein was forced to form the theory of relativity to Forced to form the theory of relativity. Are you really sure about that, mate? ...overcome this problem. In fact, any time mainstream science is faced with undesirable results, they create a workaround, which isn't real science at all. They create a workaround, which isn't real science at all. I'm starting to think that this guy never went to school whatsoever. Just, what even? Hold on, let's quickly take a look at what in the world this says. Such a condition, symmetry of redshifts observed from the Earth, would imply that we occupy unique position in the- Oh my goodness, to your lord. It's literally just simply the description of the theory of relativity. Please freaking kill me. The sun is claimed to be 93 million miles away, with a radius of over 400,000 miles but can easily be proven to be much closer and smaller by tracing the crepuscular rays back to its origin in the sky. If the sun were indeed 93 million miles away, it would simply be impossible to have angled sun rays. Do you not realize how fast light travels? Light travels insanely fast. It can travel at fast enough to reach the Earth in like a, a freaking few days. Hell, probably a few hours. And you're basically saying, oh yeah, if the sun were really that far away, it would never, ever be able to actually reach the Earth. Sure, sure. As the stalker system come in straight. According to the globular theory, a lunar eclipse occurs when the sun, Earth, and moon are in a direct line. But it is on record that since about the 15th century, over 50 eclipses have occurred while both the sun and moon are visible above the horizon. F.H. Cook, The Terrestrial Plane. It's a common misconception that the shadow of the Earth causes moon phases. A common misconception. Yeah, probably only to you, because apparently you've never went to school, never studied science, never understood a singular thing within your entire life. And now you're making an entire freaking YouTube channel called Odd Reality. What odd reality are you talking about? The odd reality that you are speaking complete gibberish. Hold on, I got another. No. Even the pastors and priests of the science religion readily admit this fact. The science religion. <laughs> believe that this guy exists. I refuse to believe this. The interesting thing about moon phases is that they are always the exact same eight phases repeated. Yeah. That's because it's the exact same moon making the exact same orbit over and over and over again. The sun doesn't move whatsoever. The earth moves around the sun. The freaking moon moves around the earth. And I think that till I don't, I don't know really how it all works, but what I'm basically saying here is that this guy's a retard. It's the same eight phases all the time. Yeah, do you really expect the moon to actually be that different? But if we were circling around the sun, these eight phases would inevitably be reversed from the summer to winter season. That makes no sense! I completely understand that the idea of a flattened stationary Earth seems ridiculous in many ways, but that's only because we are taught the false globe model. I completely understand that the idea of a flattened stationary Earth seems ridiculous in many ways. That's because it is bloody ridiculous. You do not realize how big the freaking Earth is. It's not going to show curves right off the freaking eight inches. Eight 
inches per freaking mile. That's a small amount. But that's only because we are taught the false globe model. The false globe? Oh my god, I cannot... It's the very first time that we enter a school classroom. Not to mention the first time we are introduced to the concept of a flat earth. It's depicted as a highly laughable world where ships, boats, and water would run off of the edge. That's because that, that's how a flat earth would work. Do you not realize how this works? You are... Oh my good lord, I am going to... No, I can't take this anymore. I literally can't take... No, screw this. So I do get it, but it's all part of the deception. I've spent 30 years of my life believing that we were on a spinning globe. It wasn't until I unbiasedly and scientifically investigated the flat earth claim that I started to realize that there is more to this theory than... Yeah, unbiasedly and scientifically. You, you gonna show us your... you gonna show us your process, Einstein? We are told that the Earth spins at 1,040 miles per hour, while the Earth travels around the Sun at 66,000 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the whole solar system is going inside the Milky Way galaxy at a speed of 490,000 miles per hour. And finally, the Okay, so what's your point? The entire Milky Way galaxy is darting through infinite space at over 1 million miles per hour. Most people believe this. And yet, every experiment ever conducted to prove even the simple spin of the Earth has failed. Are you sure about that? Mm. The same thing goes for curvature. It's never been proven, and the only time we see it is in movies, NASA CGI, or when we're looking through a distorted fisheye lens. It's eight bloody inches Eight, eight inches. That, that's a small amount of. A small amount for how big the freaking Earth is. Oh my good lord, I refuse to believe that this guy is real. I refuse to. I bloody refuse to. With all that said, please continue to research critically and don't be afraid to ask reasonable questions and speak out. Oh, don't be afraid to ask reasonable questions? Okay. Where's your scientific pro process to believe that this bullcrap is real, genius? Tell me, how can you go if it's a flat earth? Then how can you go from, like, freaking Alaska, all the way to Japan, traveling in one direction, like, out to the, the left side from Canada on, like, a standard map, all the way over to, like, freaking Asia or something? How does that work, genius? How, do, how does that work? Oh, you're not going to give us anything else? You're just going to continuously show us your bullcrap pictures? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the end of that. That's the end of the video, guys. And that's the end of today's video. In conclusion today, the Earth is flat just because of the fact that we can't see 8 inches of movement across 1 mile. Case closed. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to support me, then please consider leaving a like, because I'm pretty sure Captain Savage and his freaking and his freaking dislike bots are going to start storming this video randomly, just because of the fact that they can't take my different editing style. You know, I have zero editing style whatsoever, and I suck. But anyways, but aside from that, please consider leaving a like, that's very well appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.